Namaste students. Welcome back to WinMaths. In this video, I am going to discuss on the concept of division for grade 4. So, we will learn how to divide the given number by the given two-digit number. So, for that, I will take the question from Enrich 1 of Chapter 4, Division. Here is the first question. Divide and write the quotient and remainder. In this, I will take this question J, that is 1691 divided by 90. Let's take that one and we will write that question at end here. Question J. One thousand six hundred ninety one divided by ninety. First, we will understand this which one is the dividend, which one is the divisor in this given question. Once they give the symbol of division, we have to understand that the number which will come before the division symbol is known as dividend that is the number 1691 is dividend and the next number the number 19 which will come after the division sign is known as divisor once we understood about the number dividend and divisor we will write the given numbers in division column. We have to write the division column like this with curve on this side, straight line on the line like this. This symbol is known as division column. Inside the divisions column, we will write this dividend, leaving the space between the digits one, six nine one like this and this divisor will write it in the outside of this division column now we understood that we have to divide this 1691 by 90 so because of that we will form the multiples of 19 on the right side so i will write first 19 into 1 is equals to 19. 19 into 2, we have to frame it by multiplying in the row wise. 2 nines are 18. 8 here, 1 carry. 2 ones are 2, plus 1 carry, it become 3. Since we got 19 into 2 as 38. Same way, we have to frame the multiples till 9. 19 into 3, 9 threes are 27. 7 here, 2 as a carry. 9, 3 ones are 3, 3 plus 2, 5. Hence, we got 19 into 3 as 57. Next, we will multiply this 19 with 4. 4 nines are 36, 6 here, 3 as a carry. 4 ones are 4, 4 plus 3, it is 7. Next, we will multiply 19 to the 5. 5 into 9 is 45. 5 here, 4 as a carry. 5 into 1, 5. 5 plus 4 carry, it is 9. We got 19 into 5 as 95. Next, 19 into 6. 9, 6 are 54. 4 here, 5 as a carry. 6, 1 are 6. 6 plus 5, it is 11. Now, we will multiply the next multiple of 19. That is 19 into 7. 7 into 9, it is 63. 3 here, 6 as a Carry. 7 ones are 7, 
7 plus 6, it is 30. We got 133. 19 into 8. 8 nines are 72. 2 here, 7 as a carry. 8 ones are 8. 8 plus 7, it is 15. We got 152. 19 into 9. 9 nines are 81. 1 here, 8 as a carry. 9 ones are 9. 9 plus 8, it is 17. We got 171. This way, we will form the multiples of. Next, we will divide this given number by the divisor. So because of that, we have to select this. Next, to divide this number 1691, we are framed this all the multiples of 19. Using this multiples, we have to divide this given number. So to divide this number, as we know that we got the divisor as 19, which means we have to divide this dividend by the number 19 from highest place to lowest place. If you look at the highest place digit, that is 1, which is smaller than the 19. So we can't divide it further. Because of that, we will take two digits. The, then the number became 16. Now the two digit number 16 is also smaller than the 19. Again, we can't divide this 16 by the 19. Since we will take the next digit also. Now the number become 169, which is greater than the 19. Now we have to take the closest number of this 169 of the multiples of 19, which should be lesser than this 169. If you look at that, Eza is the closer to this 169 and which is smaller than this number 169. Since I took that 152, I will write that in here below the 169. 19, 8 is 152. Because of that, I will write 8 above the tens place. Now, we will subtract this number. Once you subtract this number, 9 minus 2, it is 7. 6 minus 5, it is 1. 1 minus 1, it is 0. We divided 1, 6 and 9. Now, we left with this one. That one, I will take it down. Now the number become 171. Again, from the multiples of 19, we have to select the multiple of 19, which is closer to this 171. That is exact number 171 only there in this 19th table. Because of that, I will take that 171 at an here. That is 19 nines are 9 I will write above the ones place, which means I have divided given all the digits of this number 169. And last, we will do the subtraction of this 171 in 171. We get remainder as 0. Therefore, finally, we will write the answer as quotient is equals to 89. Remainder is equals to zero. This way, we will divide the given number by two digits. Now, we will take the next question, that is K. 5,487 divided by 13. 5,000. 487 divided by 30. In this also, as I told you in the previous sum, here the number which will come before the division sign is dividend. The number which will come after the division sign is divisor. So because of that, using the division column, I will write dividend inside the division column. Divisor, I will write outside the division column. So divisor, we will write here. 
dividend i will write inside the division column living space between the digits so that we can divide the number clearly now after writing this given numbers in the division column we have to frame the multiples of the divisor in this number divisor is 13 we will frame the multiples of 13 13 ones are 13 we know that next one is 13 into 2 we have to do 3 twos are 6 2 ones are 2 we got 26 next we have to multiply this 13 with 3 3 threes are 9 3 ones are 3 we got 39 13 into 4 4 threes are we have to multiply first 4 threes are 12 1 as a carry 4 ones are 4 plus 1 5 we got 52 next 13 into 5 5 threes are 15 1 carry 5 ones are 5 plus 1 it is 6 we got 65 13 into 6 we have to multiply 6 threes are 18 1 carry 6 ones are 6 plus 1 it is 7 78 we got 13 into 7 is equals to 7 threes are 21 1 here 2 as a carry 7 ones are 7 7 plus 2 9 13 into 7 is equals to 91 13 into 8 8 threes are 24 2 as a carry, 8 ones are 8, 8 plus 2, 104. 13 into 8 is equals to 104. Last, we will find 13 into 9, 9 into 3, 27, 7 here, 2 as a carry, 9 into 1, 9, 9 plus 2, 11. 13 into 9 is 170. Now, we framed all the multiples of 13. Using these multiples, we have to divide this number 5487 by the divisor 13. So once we start dividing the number, we have to divide it from highest place to lowest place. Highest place digit is 5, which is smaller than 13. So we will add one more digit to that. Now the number becomes 54, which is larger than the 13. Now we will find the closest multiple of 13 to this 54, which should be smaller than the 54. That is number 52. So that only I will take and I will write here as 52. It is 13 Forza. So I will write four items here. Now we have to subtract that 52. In 54, we get remainder as two. Here it is zero. And next digit is 8. We will take it down. The number become 28. This is also larger than the divisor 13. Again, we have to select the closest multiple of 13 to this 28 with smaller than this 28. That is the number 26. That I will take it in here. I will write. It is 13. 2, sir. Two I will write above the tens, please. And once we subtract it, we get the remainder as 2. And here it is 0. And then we have to take the digit 7 down. Write it exactly in the same column of 1s. Now the number becomes 27. As I told you again, we have to select the smallest and closer multiple to this number 27. That is 26 again. So that 26 I will write here. And then 2, I will write above the 7. Now, once we subtract this, we get 1 here, 0 here. We divided all the digits of the given dividend. That is 5. Also, we divided 4, 8, and 7. So, we got finally, as a remainder 1, we got a quotient as 422. So, that only we will write at a here as quotient is equals to 422 remainder is equals to 1. This way we will divide the given number using the multiples of the given divisors. Remaining questions you practice about yourself 
and try to practice finding the multiples in this way. So this way we will divide the number. Thank you for watching.